Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proof Product Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin with Tiny MC Editor and this is our second video session. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we develop our custom buttons with Tiny MC Editor. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous playlist and videos to get a clear concept about WordPress customizations. So basically guys in our first part we have installed a plugin something called Quizmaker in which we have seen that how can actually plugin embed its custom buttons to TinyMC editor okay so first I am going to a plugin section and now I am going to install actually uninstall this plugin from our WordPress setup okay so just scroll down so here is the plugin called Quizmaker so just click on deactivate okay so we are going to deactivate this plugin so now we have installed or deactivated plugin from our WordPress setup successfully so if you go to post section so inside this post section if I clicking on add new so here as we can see that here we have no any custom buttons inside this tiny MC editor okay so inside this video session guys we are going to make some of the custom buttons right here inside this WP editor okay so just go to folder structure I am going to inside WP content inside plugins folder I am going to make a folder for our tiny MC editor okay so let's say WP tiny MC this is our custom plugin so right now we have made inside this folder guys there is no file for this okay so first of all we have to create the plugin file something called main plugin file okay so WP tiny MC dot PHP this is our main plugin file so just open up this file into our editor so here is the file so first of all we have to actually make some of the comment section to introduce our plugin to our WordPress setup okay so to introduce any plugin in WordPress we have to write some of the comment section so these are the information called plugin name so this is something called WP tiny MC let's see editor okay and also we have to pass some of the description so let's see description so this is sample plugin by online web tutor to learn plugin development with tiny MC editor okay and also let's pass author name so let's say author something called online web tutor and several actually information it contains so only we are going to pass only three informations to this comment section so just save this file go to browser go to plugin section so inside this plugin list here is the plugin that we have created called WP tiny MC editor okay so let's activate this plugin so so far we didn't code anything inside this plugin so nothing happened right now okay so if you go to post section click on add new there is no button actually we have added okay so by the help of this plugin guys actually we are going to make some of the codes which basically embed implement or actually add our custom buttons to our WP editor so now if we want to add our custom controls to tiny MC editor then we have to use two filter hooks in our plugin okay so basically what are those two action hooks basically these are called the filter hooks okay so what are those filter hooks so basically if I write into the comment section so first something called MC buttons this is a filter hook okay so we have to use to add our custom buttons now we are going to attach the custom functionality along with these buttons so to add the custom functions we are going to use another filter hook called MC external let's say external underscore plugins this is used to attach the functionality of buttons and this is used to attach our custom buttons to tiny MC editor let's start to use this filter hooks okay so basically if I write some suppose in comment section about this functionality so this is a filter hook something called this is a filter hook used to attach buttons to tiny MC editor okay and this filter hook basically used to attach functionality with our 
custom added buttons okay these two filter hooks we are going to use so let's start with the first filter hook called MC buttons so just copy that add filter so first parameter we have to pass the filter name so this is our filter name second parameter we have to pass the callback function okay so let's say OWT attach custom let's say tiny MC buttons okay this is nothing this is the callback function basically this function contains the definition section of this filter hook okay so just copy the function name and let's say function function name inside this function guys we're going to attach our custom buttons with tiny MC okay so inside this function guys we're going to pass a parameter called buttons and finally we have returned this parameter right here at the end of this function so let's return buttons okay so these buttons basically an array inside this array we have to store all the buttons actually we want to create along with our tiny MC editor okay so let's say buttons basically this is an array now inside this array we are going to make our first button something called let's say console okay this is our button name this is our simple attack okay second button we want something called buttons inside this array we are going to store another button something called alert this is nothing this is our button name so successfully we have added two custom buttons with tiny MC but right now we didn't attach any functionality with these buttons okay so if suppose we save this file just go to administrator panel reload this section so right now there is no buttons attached okay so how can we attach those buttons inside this editor so for that we are going to use the second filter hook called MC external plugins so just copy that let's say that add filter inside this add filter so just I'm going to enter so inside this add filter first parameter we have to pass called our filter name and the second parameter called callback function so let's say OWT attach functions of custom buttons so let's say custom buttons okay so now I'm going to define this function so just copy this function name and let's say function function name inside this function guys actually we are going to attach a JavaScript file basically that JavaScript file contains all the functionality of these buttons so let's include that JavaScript file okay so inside this callback function guys we are going to pass a parameter called plugin array basically this plugin array is also an array basically store all the JavaScript files that we are going to attach with these actions okay so just copy this plugin array now finally we have to return at the end of this function so return plugin array and now we are going to attach a JavaScript file so let's say plugin array basically this is an array okay so inside this we are going to store our JavaScript file okay so basically plugin dir let's say URL we have to pass the file as a parameter so double underscore file double underscore dot we are going to make a file inside it here so let's say that it's a simple or let's say editor dot js this is our JavaScript file so let's include this file so editor dot js just back to editor and let's say that editor dot js file okay so inside this array we have to store this file inside a key of this array so let's say that MC something called editor js this is only a key for this JavaScript file this is nothing else so just save this file now if you go to the browser reload this page nothing happened because we have not coded any JavaScript code inside our created file okay so just back to folder structure first we have to write some of the JS code inside this editor or JS okay so let's say that jQuery inside this JavaScript file jQuery we have to make a function inside this function guys we are going to define some of the definition for our editor now we are going to use some of the default objects provided by WordPress and now we have called tiny MC this is the default provided by WordPress basically to use that we have not to include any library to use tiny MC features okay so we are going to attach our custom buttons to tiny MC dot we have called plugin manager okay basically it has a method called add by the help of this tiny MC plugin manager dot add we are going to add our custom buttons okay so if you go to our main plugin file 
here is the key name that we have passed so just copy that go to editor.js file in the first parameter we have to pass called mc editor.js okay so if suppose you have passed some another name inside this key so you have to change this key name right here inside the first parameter okay in the second parameter guys i am going to pass a callback function so let's say function basically this function has a parameter inside that something called editor okay so let's say editor so basically if i make some formatting to this so let's say this is okay so inside this block means tinymc plugin manager dot, dot add inside this block actually we are going to make some of the coding by the help of that coding actually we are going to include all the custom buttons to our wp editor now inside this block guys we are going to add our custom buttons okay so let's say that adding custom buttons to tiny mc editor okay so let's start doing code some first okay so let's say editor this is the property actually we have passed inside this function okay so editor dot add button we have a method called add button so by the help of this add button guys actually we are going to add our custom buttons so in the first parameter it actually also contains two parameter okay so in the first parameter we have to pass the key actually we have defined here okay so first button we want to make some some called console in the second button we have called alert okay so let's change the key name so this is called let's say editor console this is our first button key name so again let's change editor dot alert okay you can actually provide any name any key name for these buttons i have changed accordingly okay so just copy this editor console go here as you actually rename these names these names are useful for this js file okay so i am going to editor console just copy that move to editor js file inside that we are going to pass this parameter because we have defined these definitions right here only we have to attach our javascript coding to these keys okay so just copy this key back to javascript file in the inside the second parameter guys we are going to pass an object okay that object actually basically contains all the definition all the functionality of this button okay so basically this will be an object inside this object guys actually all attributes we will discuss in our next video okay inside this video actually we are going to make only a simple layout only a simple button for this editor console key okay so let's say text it has a property called text this object has multiple properties we will learn in our next video so basically let's say that it has a property called text and something called let's OWT console okay so if I save this file just back to browser reload this section now as we see that we have a button called OWT console so if I click nothing happens because we have not coded any coding on this click event so just back to editor so now if we want to use the second key so just go to JS file and let's say that editor dot add button in the first parameter we have to pass the key that we have specified something called editor underscore alert so just copy that inside this first parameter pass that in the second we have to pass an object inside this object we have multiple keys okay so we are going to use a simple key called text so let's say that OWT alert okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this section and now we have two buttons called OWT console and OWT alert so in our next video session guys we will see that how can we implement our custom functionality along with these buttons and also we will see that what different properties basically this object contains along with this text property okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day